If you're in the first year to four years of your music business, please watch this video all the way through. It's highly important. I promise you'll get something out of it. Here we go, tip of the day. First, I wanna explain something to you that I've just recently learned from Andy Frisella. He's a big time uh, nutrition guy. He runs a sports company called uh, Formula One or First Form. First Form is the company. I was listening to his podcast the other day on a, on a jog. I was hearing this concept that he had and it just resonated with me because I've been in business with Radium for now just a little over uh, four years going on like the five year marker, right? But I've been an entrepreneur for a decade or more. I've, I've done voiceover work. I've done entrepreneurial music stuff on the side uh, from even working in music houses, getting 1099T employee contracted for music houses, writing music, mixing music, all that stuff. So I have a lot of experience with that first 10 years of being an entrepreneur and being in music. And I wanted to break something down for you because he broke it down so well. I wanted to share it with you. So you have to think about this whole thing Everything you're doing in your music business, okay, because that's what we're focusing on right now, but this is all entrepreneurs. You got to think of it as a pyramid. And let's say there's four tiers to the pyramid. The first tier is the very bottom of the pyramid. Everybody's trying to get in, right? Everyone's making beats and they're all making loop kits and they're all making drum packs and they're all trying to sync their music, right? They're running around to all the libraries and oh my God, this game is just so saturated. You're going to hear that from all those people at the bottom of the pyramid. Even the next step up, you're going to hear all this complaining, man, I can't sell my beats two for one, buy this, you know, like they're just, everyone's competing with each other. And you're in that bottom phase, you're in that first year year, that first, second year, right? Even the first three years, I'd say, where you're just competing with everyone. Nobody knows who you are. You have no experience. Your skill set may be good, but you're just not, you're not experienced in the music business. So you're, you're at this bottom tier, the first three years of entrepreneurial endeavors in music. But here's the best news. And uh, probably the thing that I went like, wow, that really motivated me and inspired me when I heard this from, uh, from Andy Frisella is you get to that next stage, that next phase and that next tier of the pyramid, which you get to that third to fifth year, right? It's a little less people right there. You're competing with a lot less people. You're in bigger rooms. You're in, uh, in places where people will pay you 500,000, 1500, $5,000 for projects, right? And they do it kindly and excitedly because you got the skill set, and you're only competing against those people that were, they lasted long enough to get into that second tier. So now you're in this, these rooms where people are like, yo, yeah, $1,500. Yeah. Session fee, 300 bucks. Yeah. I'm cool with that demo fee, 300 bucks. You know, you're actually getting paid to demo on commercials, TV shows, trailers, whatever it might be. You're actually getting paid for the stuff you were doing for free at the bottom of the tier where you're competing with everyone and making beats all day for free, right? And not getting paid for shit and hoping that you get an advance or whatever. Second tier, you stop competing with less people. And then something amazing happens. You get into that, that fifth year, that sixth year. Now, hold on. Side note, guys. If you haven't been busting your ass and learning throughout this whole process and getting better and developing your skills, it's not only a musician, a programmer, a great at Logic, FL Studio, super dope sound designer, but also a business person, a marketer, a salesperson, someone that can brand themselves. If you're not getting better throughout this whole thing and, and craving that and really driving towards that, it doesn't matter. You can spend 20 years at the bottom of the pyramid. So that's just a side note there for you. I don't want you to think you just put in three years and then you get to the next and you get to the next. It's not how it works at all. It's performance based. So then you get to that third tier of that pyramid and you look around and you're like, I'm not competing with everybody. I'm competing with like five people, a couple different music houses, right? Like I'm competing with a couple composers that are also on this job that are demoing for it. You know what I'm saying? Things become easier, but it becomes easier not because you moved up this pyramid. It's because you became that person that moved up that pyramid, which means you got all these talents, these skills, these this know-how. You have this sixth sense. You have this, this ability to predict, which doesn't come until you get into that five to 10 year period, right? And then you got the 10 to 20 year entrepreneurs and music makers, you got the 20 to 30 years. I'm talking the big boy business, right? The 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 ditties, you know? The uh, the Khaleds, the the Drakes, you know, you get into the top tier, you get to the peak of that that pyramid. Let me ask you a question, Who who's Drake competing with when it comes to, to being a rap artist or a pop artist, right? Very few people. 
So that's the whole point is that you have to work through this pyramid and it's going to feel like that. It's going to be really hard at the bottom tier. You're going to complain all the time. You're going to be on social media, man, it's so saturated. No one buys beats anymore. You're going to say all this shit that you don't know what you're talking about because you're just at the bottom of the pyramid. You haven't got to the skill level. You haven't put in the work. You haven't put in the effort, right? You have to become an expert at whatever you're doing. And another thing, something to really keep in mind, everybody uses this, this idea that people become millionaires and they become successful by diversifying and they uh, diversify their money, they diversify their skills. They have all these cash flows and all these different flows of income. That's simply a completely false thing. Yeah, they get a lot of different diversity going once they become millionaires, but to get to those millions of dollars, to become the successful person that got all those credits, do you really think that they were diversifying? Absolutely fucking lutely not. They got really, really good at half a dozen things and they crushed it and they focused on those half a dozen things. I mean, just imagine, just put this into perspective. Yo, man, I'm a I'm a Grammy award winning, platinum award winning producer in music, right? But I also am like, you know, really uh, working really hard at becoming great at, as a chef. Like, bro, no, there's someone out there that's all they're doing is being a chef. They study it, they study sauces and tasting every single day. Do you really think you're gonna become an expert and blow up and do well with something that you're not committed full on when there's people out there laser focused on this thing they might not be even as talented as you but they're going to move up that fucking pyramid so much quicker than you so just keep this in mind as you go through your journey and your music business or whatever you're trying to do you're being an artist recording artist being a beat maker you want to uh, get into the rooms and record orchestras or become a big composer like it takes laser focus it's going to take that skill set of building and learning every day and being around people getting into the room like if you're at the bottom tier of the pyramid you should be trying to reach up the next Next tier of the pyramid to work with those people and then every time you reach up you got to just keep reaching up you don't need to be at the bottom you know chit chatting and fucking complaining with these guys at the bottom of the pyramid and you shouldn't be at the second tier of the pyramid going yeah you guys yeah we really made it bro like yeah man i make i make i make 10 grand a year off of beats bro we made it bro like y'all gotta stop you gotta reach up you gotta look up. Stop, stop, stop being uh being okay with the room you're in. That's your tip of the day today. And hopefully that helps you. It inspires you. It motivates you. And again, this came from Andy Frisella. Highly recommend his podcast if you want a little kick in your ass. You know, uh, he's got a little style that's a little bit more uh, you know, fuck you, do shit, you know, which is pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. I like a coach. I'd love to uh, hear some comments on what you guys think about this and where you're at in the pyramid or where you think you're at in the pyramid and uh where you're trying to go. All right, this is the tip of the day almost every day. See you guys later.